So, since the dawn of time, within the art community, there have always been two distinct type of artistic animals. The environment guys and the character guys. And even after the dawn of AI art, ironically, this is still true. A lot of people thought that just because you can easily generate anything now, character guys might actually start enjoy making environments. But uh, on average, no. Turns out it doesn't matter how easy you make something, if you are not interested, then more than likely you are not going to want to do it, no matter how easy it gets. And the reason I'm talking about this is because lately I've had some funny conversations with some different artists who have secretly talked to me and asked, Hey Skies, I'm an environment guy, and I really just hate making people. I've been drawing for about 10 years, I'm pretty good at it, and recently I made this picture, it's 99% hand-drawn in Photoshop, but down here I just generated because, honestly, I just hate doing them, they're not important, they're really just there to add a sense of people existing in the picture. So my question is, should I add the made with AI tag when I upload this on ArtStation? Because if I do that, it's kind of almost a lie because most of it is actually hand drawn. And it's kind of funny because I've also had this exact same conversation in the opposite with the character guys. They'll tell me, hey guys, I drew this awesome character. I'm really proud of it, but I just fucking hate drawing environments. So I kind of just generated the background with Photoshop. Do you still think I need to add the made with AI tag on it? And it's just, it's it's hilarious because all this technology and here we are in a way where almost nothing has really changed about people because the environment guys still hate making characters and the character guys still hate making environments so I just wanted to share with you uh, the kind of premise that inspired the creation of this video uh, so in all seriousness I think that this is something that more artists will need to think about sooner or later so I figured I'd give my personal answer to this question early in case anyone else is maybe wondering the same thing so I think if a website directly asks you, go ahead, don't try and hide anything, just leave a disclaimer in the description that this is 99% manually drawn, but the bushes in the background are generated, then call it a day. But if you're uploading it to your personal Twitter or your Instagram or something, I just say upload it and say or don't say whatever you want. Because the AI hybrid workflows are pretty much actually already happening, and in the future the AI hybrid workflows are basically going to be as normal as Photoshop itself. A lot of people don't remember when Photoshop was just coming out and just how much backlash it got from physical artists and photographers because they said it was cheating, it wasn't real art, it's too easy. But look at them now. Can you imagine if today we had to add a created with Photoshop tag on every image we uploaded? Photoshop is at this point assumed on every image. And I'm pretty confident that within the next three years, it will just be assumed that all images are some sort of hybrid workflow in the same way. And I'll tell you something else. We're kind of already there. Lots of professional AAA companies already have hybrid workflow software techniques that their artists use on a normal basis. Even small indie teams are using hybrid workflows too. And we already have a new generation of children who were born at a point where they won't even be able to imagine life without AI technology. And not to mention the average person is already having a blast with this new technology and most people are having a great time. Like normal people are kind of used to it now and just letting their imagination go wild. You got people making videos of what stormtroopers from different countries would look like or Star Wars wearing Gucci or Harry Potter wearing Balenciaga. And it's very clear that if you just look at the millions of views and thousands of people just having fun in the comment section, really nobody cares whether it's AI or not. People just want to be entertained and watch cool stuff. Give it another two years, and then really nobody will care to even make the distinction because it will already be assumed that AI is part of everything. Especially now that Firefly is directly a part of Photoshop, and the commercial license is there for everyone to use on any project you want. So the hybrid workflow pipeline is already here to stay. And remember what I said in the last video, you spend your time where you enjoy it most. If you are a 3D animator who hates writing stories, don't force yourself to write a story that you end up hating. Have ChatGPT help you write the story, because your players will easily be able to tell that your heart wasn't really in it. Likewise, if you are an environment guy who hates making characters, don't force yourself to make characters you hate. Your time is probably best spent doing what you love and enjoy, so let the AI do the work that you hate and don't really care about. The final product will be much better if you do. Anyway, hope that helps shed some perspective for you. Thanks for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.